I am Chosen Architect. Alright guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and we are going to be starting a little uh, Ender I.O. And uh, first off, I need just a little bit of gold. I'll go ahead and I'll get that cooking up. We'll some, some, get that, take that stone out of there. Alright. Now get this grinding up. I think that's it. Okay. So what I need to make... Okay, I need a sag mill. So we're going to need some iron. Looks like five iron with the piston. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine iron and a capacitor. Okay, so I'll just throw all this in here. Take this. Take some copper. believe that's all we need. Uh, turn this back into the normal redstone. All right, and I got some redstone down here as well. Uh, but first off, while uh, while I was gone, um, I went ahead, <clears throat> went to the Nether, grabbed a few things. I'll be showing you guys the Nether here soon. Um, of course, I had gotten the the quartz last episode. I had a little recording issue when I walked into the Nether. Uh, my recording software did not work properly for some reason. Um, I think I got that figured out now. But uh, I had killed some Endermen and so what I had done was I was like you know what I need a better way than these stairs. So now by pushing space I can get right up top using these nifty little elevator blocks. Hold shift to go down and also also made this uh, a little nicer down here my little mining cave and uh, I, I took some holes so the black stuff would go away and if I hold shift I'm supposed to be able to go down here maybe not huh. I'll have to fix that but okay so I got all that done so I should have enough right now okay so what I need to do I need a little bit of wood and I already have that so alright let's see I'll take this and I'll make a couple of uh, nuggets because I know I'm gonna need that I'm gonna make the sag mill so I'm gonna need this let's see don't I have everything for that yes why is that not working Oh, maybe this. I need a regular chest, a regular crafting table. Maybe. I'll see. I'll see if that's the issue. Hope it's not the issue, but it might be. Okay. There we go. I think I might need. I need one. Okay. Let's see. Need some iron and the machine casing. This believe I have everything for it. I know I'm gonna need a couple of those. Okay. The iron bars. Need a set of those. And a flint. That's what I don't have. Okay, so I should have enough to get started with that. Alright, so does it give it to me? Oh, I need to make this. I need two of those. Because that requires one as well, and we need that. Okay, so now, there we go. Okay, so, and then I also need the alloy. So I need a cauldron. Uh, furnace. Three. And I think I have enough to make it. There we go. 
So we have the alloy smelter, and we have the sla the sag mill. So what I and what I also want is a little capacitor bank. Mm. Where's the basic? There it is. So it requires some capacitors, four capacitors, which I think I have enough for the capacitors. Just enough, perfect. Okay, so get another capacitor, make this. And I should go ahead. And I should be able to make it. There we go. All right. And then I need some some wire. I think I'm going to use this right here. Do I have it? Okay. So I need some conductive iron, which is made in the alloy smelter. Okay. So I'm going to need three of those. And this is made binding composite. How do you make the composite? Gravel, some sand, and some clay. So I think I have everything I need for that. Some clay and gravel. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, and just like that. And then I need to cook that up. Okay, so what I can do right here, I need to uh, take this bank, put it next to this. I need to go into the settings. Need to input. So it should start going up, take, draining that out, putting it in here. So this is like a little storage battery. Okay. And so, let's see. First of all, I'm going to need the alloy smeltery. I can always move this later. Um, I need it to be in alloys only. Okay, none. So it's already building power as you can see right here. And it said I needed three of these. And it should start slowly cooking these up. Um, now I can create a double layered, let's say I'm gonna need energetic alloy. So I think a basic capacitor might make things just a little bit faster. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I have enough for the basic capacitor. Okay. So I'm going to need two for right now. You know what? I'll just go ahead and finish that off. I'm going to need a bunch here soon. Nope. It won't work. Okay. So I'm going to have to put the double layered capacitor because right now it is the basic capacitor. So what does it take? Coal powder. That's easy to make. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to need redstone, gold, and glowstone. So once this finishes cooking, I will get that started. All right, so what can we be doing? Okay, we need this stuff. And I'm going to need to feed this some coal. Otherwise, this is not going to have the power to make anything. Okay, so I have that. So what do I need for this? Glowstone, which I don't think I have any glowstone dust yet. Mm, that's probably going to be an issue. That will mean we can take a trip into the nether. Okay, so let me dump some of this stuff off. I'll go ahead. I don't need that in there. I can dump my sand, my stone, my wood. All this good stuff can go in there. Let's see. Go ahead and throw that in here. We 
would hate to lose any of this. Okay, and then... That I can just toss in there. Alright. So, we can take a trip into the nether, and I'll show you guys what I've done in the nether. Not much, but uh, we're going to be on a search for some glowstone. Alright, and here I go. Alright, so here's the nether. Lovely, right? Okay, so I think I had a little path. Yes, right here. Then I just take this up, and I'm right up top. Ooh, right away, little bat. Come here. I want you. Yeah. Okay, so I think I can actually morph into him. Believe. I haven't even touched on the morph mod yet. And there he is. This will give me the power of flight. Go ahead and F5 so you can see what I'm doing. And there we go. I'm a little bat. Nice, right? Okay. So all we'll have to deal with is little fire particles, but that's not that big of a deal. Boy, look at all of them. I really don't want to get hit by them because I have... Man. Okay, so I got them. Man, they're pain. Alright, so... What I need to do is... I'll go ahead and shift out of that. I don't like my health being that low. Right here is what I was meaning. With this pickaxe, I can mine. See, with this pickaxe, I can't mine this. I cannot mine it with a diamond. But with this pickaxe, I can. And I will need that later for an even nicer pickaxe. Alright, so I'll be back as soon as I find some glowstone. Alright, so I found some glowstone. I'm just breaking it. Collecting it. Alright. I've already came across some really scary mobs that I really don't want to deal with right now. Especially some creepers that look awfully scary. There is something that I want to try and kill. I don't know how that's going to work. I can't kill them while I'm in... Oh, nope. Not dealing with that. Hmm. Or that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and head back. I don't want to test my luck. Not until I get some better protection. There's a regular bat. I think I've already killed one of those. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and morph back to myself. Okay. So I've never actually had a nether portal spawn underground like that, but I kind of like it. It's kind of, it was already protected for me and everything. But, uh, okay. So I'll see you guys when I get back to the overworld. Alright, so here we are. I believe I have enough stuff to go ahead and get going. Okay, so what I needed was redstone, um, some of the iron, copper, some gold. I believe that's all I needed. I think. Composite. Take some more coal. Okay, so pretty sure I said I needed some coal dust. I believe this is how you get it. You grind it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that gives us coal dust. I don't think we need much of it, but, uh, 
need a couple. Okay, so in the alloy smeltery, to make this stuff, we've already done that. Okay, so we've got the iron, the redstone. Okay, I think so we have the stuff to make that. Let me go find those ingots. They're right there. Should give us enough cable for right now. We take that, take this, this stuff right there. And we got eight in energy conduits. So with the energy conduits, what I need to do, I believe I can break this with a pick, actually. I'm gonna make a wrench. Let me go ahead and get a little bit more quartz. Because I think I, I think the wrenches work the same when I do it this way. I think this this should work, hopefully. Yes, it works. Okay. So I have the sag mill and the alloy smelter. So do I, I want the sag to probably be next to this. And then I want this to be here. So I need to go ahead and mine this out. Okay, so I'll take this good stuff, hook it up to it. I believe. I think I can make it where this doesn't connect. Yes, just like that. And then this here. And I'll set this one to extract, insert, I'll have to change the configuration on this one to output, same as that. So now it's taking double the output of this. It's going to be building up. Let's uh, cover that back up. All right, so back to what I was needing. I needed to upgrade these, these capacitors. So I need this stuff and I have the dust. So take some gold, redstone, and some glowstone. Gold, redstone, and glowstone. Hmm. That should grind things. Okay, making sure I got everything right. Um, I need a few, four, yeah, that should work. Alright, so I should start cooking it up slowly but surely. And then while I wait, um, might, I might try this, I'm going to do, use this. should give me like regular stone I think I think that's how it works if I'm not mistaken okay so it just gives me the pulverized iron so that's perfect it doubles my uh, aura input so I don't have to use this anymore thank goodness okay and then I would just put it in here I can actually set it uh, that's not what I need I can actually set it to where it will auto push stuff into this this inventory and then on this one I would have to set it to where it would it would suck the items in so it would pull and uh, then it would auto smelt that way just by putting it whatever I have in there all right so I have two so I can go ahead and actually try and speed up that unit so I have this Oh, I need to get a couple of capacitors wherever I put those. Where did I put there? There. Okay. So I take the dust, take the two capacitors, this right here. Now I got a double layer capacitor. And then I could put that double layer capacitor right in there. 
gives me more RF storage in this and it speeds the process up pretty pretty significantly and I'll go ahead and I'll repeat the process right here for my other okay nice okay so now this is not producing enough energy um, so we're gonna end up solving that issue soon um, let's see uh, what can I do for right now I think this will work it'll charge up this once these get charged up fully and this holds uh, a million RF these only take 200,000 RF they don't use that that much whenever they work they'll use a little more now that I have the capacitors and make them run faster and I'll show you how fast it is now a whole lot faster now look at that perfect and then this I will take it off of alloy only mode put it in furnace only mode which would work drop that in there and look how fast that starts cooking it up look at that it gave me two it cooked it two right away perfect so do I have any more in this right here look at that it'll do three at a time look at that bam it gives me three ingots at a time that is sick that's perfect awesome okay just what I wanted nice all right that'll get me a jump uh, give me a nice jump start to uh, everything else I need to do so I can't do it without uh, these machines that's for sure so this is a little nice easy uh, energy storage right off um, I could have went with let's see the redstone I'm trying to think of what it's called can't remember what it's called but anyways um, there's other ways of storing energy not just that that just seems to fit with my needs for the uh, Ender IO and it's expandable it's actually a multi-block so what happened is the more of these I make if I stacked another one on top of this one it actually give me two million RF and then it would still be one unit but it would give me two million RF um, it's pretty neat and I can make this pretty much as big as I want I can make this energy storage unit as, as giant as I possibly can uh, which is pretty nice alright so now I got that done um, I believe that should be about it for this episode we kind of got our machines up and running uh, which is nice perfect exactly what I needed to get done uh, this will be changing soon I think I want to go with um, uh, let's see big reactors uh, we'll make a it's big reactors but I'm gonna use a nice little 3x3 three three, uh, reactor which will get us some really good power um, it'll help us get up a AE storage unit so we can have a nice little uh, storage thing so we don't have to have all these chests um, and then uh, we'll upgrade some picks which will be nice I believe that's holding yep okay we still have a little bit of that that I think I can go ahead and drop some of this in there I, this is what I found in the nether That's some cobalt cobalt stronger than the alamite and uh, cobalt's pretty nice has a couple of cool features that uh, are in tinkers and I think that's about it for this episode so I will see you guys in the next episode I may have uh, I'll probably do a little bit more mining get a few more things done and I will see you guys in the next episode uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and don't forget to smack that like button and I will see you guys later